All right, guys, today I'm going to take the hedge from the IDI project, and uh, we're going to take the valve springs off, and we're going to use this handy tool that we got in the drawer. We've got a couple different versions of this one, but um, this right here, you take your pedestal where your rocker was, and you thread your bolt into the pedestal, and right there. And uh, I've got the head bolted to the welding table because we got some holes in the table here. I've got it bolted down so it can't go anywhere. And uh, press down with this lever here and you'll just kind of pop the valve from the back side until it gets out to where you can take the cups off of it. We take those off, set them there, and release the spring. And then how a valve spring removal tool works and we're going to take these out the rest of these and then I'm going to flip it around and we're going to do some valve lapping and I'll explain that to you guys and show you what that is. So on this head, there are, some of the seats are still pretty shiny. So they are, they're actually in pretty good shape. But you notice like the back side of this valve, you can't really tell where it was sitting against it. We, we cleaned the valves a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little valve lapping just to make sure the seats are good and shiny. And uh, I'm gonna insert this valve and I'm putting the valve in the same place I pulled it from so I don't get it mixed up. Theoretically, it doesn't matter, but I just like putting them back where they came from. Put a little oil on the valve stem there. I have some valve grinding compound. So I put a little valve grinding compound here on the valve. Right, only right around where the seat is up there. Really don't have to be much anywhere else. And then 
It's an old school valve grinding suction cup, and you can sit here and do that right there. Make sure the compound gets all the way around it there. And you can sit there and do that and check every little bit and see how your valve looking. But I've got to where I like to use a drill. The drill bit that fits a piece of tubing that fits the back side of the valve. Just like that. And then I just do that. Just apply a little bit of pressure with my finger. I can feel it grinding there. So now I'm going to pull that off. Well, maybe I will. Pull it out. And now you can kind of see there's a, it's a little shinier there. I'm still not happy with it, so I'm going to do it some more. But I will do that until I'm happy with um, the mating surface of this valve here and the seat that's actually in the head. So I'll put a little bit more valve running compound on there and take it just a little bit more. I'm just lightly applying pressure because I don't want to really push too hard because obviously it will bind up my hose on the back of the drill and it'll just keep spinning it and folding it up. So it's a good thing to use hose because it lets you know if you're applying too much pressure. seat on the head looks pretty good. And that one is looking better, but still not shiny yet. I like it to be just a little bit shiny. That's one of those processes that it takes a little bit of time, but, and arguable as to whether or not it's really worth it or not, because you figure what's running, it'll probably seat pretty good on its own anyways, but. And then some people say you need to use the suction cup because the motion of the back and forth is what makes the good seat. But it just seems like it takes forever just doing this. That's why I like the drill. That's a pretty good mating surface. 
it's not it's not terrible you can see where it's seat now I don't want to grind it too much because I want to keep a the thinner the line the more pressure the spring can put on a smaller area if I keep going I'll widen it out and then I won't have as good a seal it'll have a wider seating area but the pressure won't it'll be evenly distributed distributed on a wider area therefore it won't seal as good so that right there I'm gonna leave alone and I'm gonna go ahead and clean up some of the other ones that are actually in the worst shape this one really wasn't that bad to start with so mainly um, because the head wasn't bad here too much or some of these other ones got some carbon and stuff around them but, but that right there is how you lap valves in a head to get a better seat for when they're closed and that's really going to matter because here we're actually going to use a little bit stiffer valve spring than the factory ones because these are uh, Ford Power Stroke springs so recommended as an upgrade on these IDI motors especially if you're going to run a turbo so but thank you guys for watching and uh, like and subscribe. We really appreciate it.